Hey gardeners, welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Trisha for anyone that's new and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing some supplies from Josh's Rocks. So I've done this many times before and I just want to tell you guys how important Josh's Frogs is during a time like this during quarantine because it's so important to stay safe and like stay home as much as you can and being able to just order all the stuff that you need for your animals from the safety of your own home is like the best thing right now so I just really hope that you guys are staying home and if you need stuff for your animals please check out Josh's Frogs because they literally have anything that you could possibly need and lately not only have I been getting like feeders or just like other things that my animals need like supplies but like I've also been just because I'm so bored during quarantine I'm just like renovating enclosures like crazy so it's the perfect time to just like completely do upgrades and all of those fun things with your animals because now you have the time to do it at home and Josh's Frogs has your back and they can send you whatever you could possibly need. So that's been pretty much all that I have been doing over here and I am in the middle of setting up three whole new enclosures. So I had a lot of stuff that I had to order from Josh's Frogs. Not all of it is going to be in this box. I have one box in front of me that you guys can't really see. This is it. Um, I just got a box um, a couple of days ago and it's a new enclosure for Mango. Um, when it came, it did have a little crack in it. Sometimes that just happens with shipping. It could be like someone just being a little too rough with it. Whatever the case, accidents happen. So um, I did contact them and I let them know like there's a little crack in it. I could still use that enclosure, honestly, because the crack really isn't too bad and I could seal it up, but they were just so nice. They have the best customer service ever and they actually just sent me a whole new enclosure. So that way I can just have one without a crack and that was just so nice and helpful of them so they're just they're the best guys I tell you this all the time like I just can't recommend them enough they are angels from heaven I just love Josh's Rocks so they sent me the new enclosure and it is in perfect condition I'm gonna have a video where I show you guys how I set that enclosure up as well as two other videos of two new crested gecko enclosures that I'll be setting up and Basically, the stuff that I'm unboxing today is also going to go towards that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it and just show you guys what I got today. So before I unbox this box, I'm going to show you guys a video of another box that I opened of a package that I received before this one because I have many different shipments going on now these days because I just have so many different things coming in that I'm going to need for all of these projects. So I'm going to show you that footage now. Josh's frogs that I'm just going to unbox here. My dog thinks that this is a bark box for him because he always does. I'm sorry, babes. This is not for you. So this stuff is basically going to be for setting up my next enclosure. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I didn't even know they were going to send me this. I was not expecting this. Holy crap. This is like a really, 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 really nice thermostat. I was not expecting for them to send me this. I don't even have words right now. Like, holy crap. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, Um. so... The rest of this stuff is going to be for setting up my African fat tail gecko enclosure, which they are sending also. Um, so for this, I'm going to need spray foam. That's safe for the animals. So I believe they're actually sending me another shipment of this as well because I asked for black. So they sent me two white ones and they just said in here that they're going to send me two black ones as well. Or wait, no, they're talking about the silicone. They're sending black silicone. So this is regular silicone and they're gonna send black oh my goodness so either way like I have enough for all of this way more than enough so I'll be set to go so we're gonna make a naturalistic um, background on the enclosure once I get it and that is basically all of the supplies that we're gonna need because I'm gonna stick the dirt onto the silicone which is this and then the foam is going to be the first thing to put down. I'm going to show you guys how I do all of this. I've done it many times, but like, I'm, I like try new things every time. So I'm going to try something new 
and holy crap, she's going to have an amazing, awesome thermostat. So thank you so much, Taylor at Josh's Frogs. You are literally the best person in the whole world, and I love you, and I love Josh's Frogs, and I'm so excited for this. And now I'm going to get back to this current package that I have today. So it's like Christmas time. I love opening these boxes. So we have sheets, we have information. So like whenever you order plants, they're gonna have some instructions for you on how to take care of them. Everything is just so thoughtful and they just, there's, they cover everything, like they're the best. So the first thing that I'm seeing in here is more great stuff because I'm going to be making naturalistic backgrounds and I cannot have enough of this stuff. Like I just, I need all the great stuff in the world because I just love the naturalistic backgrounds. They just look so nice. So the next thing that I have is Repti Bar. So I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try to use this for Mango. She, I've tried giving her substrate before and she wouldn't eat on it. I'm gonna try one more time with this Repti Bark and I'm just hoping that maybe she'll be okay with it. We're gonna have to see, I don't know. I'm gonna try because I'm sick of paper towels. I just, I hate the paper towels. It doesn't look good. I just, I just don't want the paper towels, guys. So, got some Repti Bark. Next thing that I have is some substrate. So this is an isopod substrate. And this is what it looks like. They make their own substrates. Like I usually get the Josh's Frogs bio bedding. This is something a little bit different that I'm trying that I haven't tried before. And like, I love the little cartoons. Like, do you see that? So cute. Everything they do is so cute. It's just so presentable. So we got some feeders, guys. My favorite, the hornworms. They're so teeny, teeny, tiny, but they grow so quickly. So, and these are my animals' favorites. I just ordered some last week and we just finished them off. So, perfect timing. And then I have, what is this? Oh yeah, here we go. Night crawlers. So, I'm really excited because I haven't given these to my animals in quite some time. And when you're going to be feeding night crawlers, um, a lot of them can carry parasites. So it's really important to make sure that you're getting it from a good place like Josh's frogs because you know that it's going to be coming from a good place, not have parasites or any issues. They just have very high quality feeders. That's why I just, I love their feeders. So Janemba and Ponyo are going to be very excited for this. And then we have, what is this? I believe these are the... Oh, they're springtails. Yep. So we have a little package of springtails. They're hopping all around in there. So I'm going to try to use maybe go bioactive for one of the enclosures I'm doing. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I'm just ordering and figuring it out as I go. But I'm prepared with springtails. We also have care sheets for the feeders. Hornworms. Which one is this? Springtails. Earthworms. And their cute little thank you note because they're just adorable. And then, so that's the rest of the feeders because I actually ordered feeders last week. I ordered mealworms and waxworms and hornworms. So I have just been stocked up with feeders thanks to Josh's frogs. They are the best. So now I'm going to move on to some live plants because I would like to add some live plants to my enclosures. So we're going to start with this one. I'm really terrible with plant names, so I don't remember what I ordered. I do this every single time. I just show the plants and I'm like, I don't know what it is, but I love it. So we have a cute little plant here. Super pretty. Always in perfect condition because it's Josh's frogs and they just do everything perfectly. And then we have another little plant over here. Oh wait, this one says a name on it. Oh God, I'm not going to be able to say that. Diffinbachia? And then it says Tiki. I can say Tiki. I don't... We're going to see what this one looks like. Ooh, very pretty. Very, very cute. So I got a lot of smaller plants for this because I'm hoping to place them in the background of an enclosure. So I don't want them to be too big. So that's why I'm picking kind of smaller plants. This one is like a little bit bigger. Ooh, it's gorgeous. 
Look how pretty that is. I like how it's just covering my face. This is so pretty. Love this one. I have two more left. This one is, oh my God. Should I even try to like pronounce this? I should just make a whole video of me trying to pronounce things like totally wrong. Um, Epipremnum aureum neon pathos. I'm gonna go with neon pathos for that one. Like seriously though, like look at the name. Can you guys see that? I don't know, big words. All right. Ooh, it looks so pretty already. I love this one's color. Oh, this one. Look at that. It's so funky. God, I love this. So I ordered a lot of plants and I don't know if I'm going to actually like use all of these for the enclosures. But the best thing about this is like, even if I don't, I can just like put them around my house. That's another thing. I love the plants from Josh's Frogs and I just get them as house plants too, because it cleans your air. Like it's healthy to have plants. It makes you happier and it's giving you fresh oxygenated air. So like get some plants for yourself. We're all stuck in quarantine. We all could use some plants. Let's see what this little one is. This one is Synagonium Potophyllum candy okay let's see it oh this one's interesting this kind of like is shaped like a little monstera a little bit i don't know all right well those are all of the plants and those are all of the feeders that i ordered for today so i'm just gonna shoot ahead in the next videos and start setting up mangoes enclosure uh, bamboo's enclosure, and I'm also fixing up Oakley's enclosure. So there's just going to be back to back to back um, enclosure setup videos because I just want to redo everyone's. I want live plants. I want live backgrounds. I want things to look good because I'm just in quarantine and this is the best way to spend your time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing video and please go on over to joshesfrogs.com. Check them out. They have everything that you could possibly need for your animals. You can buy a whole new enclosure. You can get stuff for a naturalistic background. You can go bioactive, get live plants, get feeders, get everything you need for your animals at the safety of your own home during this time. And if you have not shopped at Josh's Frogs before and you have not used my coupon code, you can use my coupon code Reptilian Garden and save yourself 15% at the checkout. Again, if you have used this code before, it will say that it is invalid and it will not work because it is a one-time use code only. So just keep that in mind because a lot of people have been pretty confused about that. Um, but other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Huge shout out to Josh's Frogs. You guys are amazing. I love you. And I hope that you guys are all staying safe at home and your animals are all doing well and happy. And I will see you guys in the next video.